One of my favorite Tom Petty and the Heartbreaker songs is Jammin' Me. For those of you who have been following my channel since its inception, then maybe you'll know that I started out as a rhythm gaming channel that covered games like Rock Band and Guitar Hero. My first introduction to Jammin' Me was through the video game Rock Band, which released a dozen or so Tom Petty songs from his live anthology release. I was surprised to learn years later that actor and comedian Eddie Murphy took issue with the song. Today, let's talk about the song and the resulting feud between Tom Petty and Eddie Murphy. Released in 1987 on Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers album Let Me Up, I've Had Enough, the song Jammin' Me would be the first track off the record and the first single released, and it would peak at number one on the Billboard album Rock Tracks chart and go to number 18 on the pop charts. Despite that feat, the song, strangely enough, would not be included in Petty's 1993 Greatest Hits package. The song's writers include Tom Petty, Bob Dylan, and guitarist Mike Campbell. The song Jam and Me's origins dated back to the mid-80s and was brought to Petty by his longtime bandmate Mike Campbell, who told Song Facts, Jam and Me was interesting because I wrote the track and gave it to Tom, and he held it for a while and didn't do anything with it. Then I guess he was working with Bob Dylan one day, and they came up with some words. I guess they were picking words out of a newspaper or off the television, and Tom said, oh, I've got this track of mics, and they inserted those words over the track. The song's message deals with information overload in the 80s, due in large part to the changing media landscape. The song would reference popular historic events of the decade, including the Iranian hostage crisis, the rise of Apple computers, and some popular people in show business, including the SNL alums, Eddie Murphy, Joe Piscopo, and actress Vanessa Redgrave. The line that drew the anger of Eddie Murphy would be, and I quote, take back Vanessa Redgrave, take back Joe Piscopo, take back Eddie Murphy, give them all some place to go. Petty would reflect back on the song in the book Conversations with Tom Petty. What he was talking about was media overload referring to Dylan and being slammed with so many things at once. And times were changing. There weren't four TV channels anymore. It was changing and that was the essence, I think, of what he was writing about. The song's video, which got frequent airplay on MTV, also carried these themes showing radio and televisions. Eddie Murphy, meanwhile, would join Saturday Night Live in the early 80s and would be credited with revitalizing the show after its 70s heyday. By 1987, Murphy had left the variety show and was among the hottest stars in Hollywood, including starring in the film's 48 Hours and Beverly Hills Cop. Murphy would get wind of his name being mentioned in the song and reportedly told an interviewer, F. Tom Petty. In reality, it wasn't Petty who wrote the lyric, but Bob Dylan, and Petty would respond to Murphy's anger, looking back in the book Conversations with Tom Petty. That was all Bob, the verse about Eddie Murphy, while also admitting the controversy, and I quote, embarrassed him a little bit. Because I remember seeing Eddie Murphy on TV really pissed off about it, I had nothing against Eddie Murphy or Vanessa Redgrave. Let Me Up, I've Had Enough, meanwhile, will be certified gold stateside, selling over half a million copies. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe. We'll see you again. Rock Country Stories sticker.